far too curious for too long. What happened to this man's eyes? I'm an artist and one of the most important things to get right about a face is the eyes. You want to make sure that they're looking at the same place and that they're not, the pupils are not too open for the scene. Because I'm autistic and because I'm really interested in art and anthropology, I've learned a lot of different little things about the face that can signal different things to the viewer. Even though the eyes in these two pictures might be the most striking to you, they're not all the information that you're taking from the pictures. Yes, they're really unsettling, but what makes them so unsettling is the matched features from the mouth. And When someone is happy and they're enjoying their time or they're connecting with another human, their eyes are going to be looking at them and they're going to be directly proportionally, um, the, the pupils are going to be bigger because they're making a connection. With those pictures, the pupils were very small, which could mean that there was light shining in them or they weren't looking at a, at a particular person. Small pupils denote logic focus, so it's not an emotional place, it's a more strategical planning place. That's why we feel like, like we're the prey and they're the predator when we see someone with small pupils. I think the main other thing to mention is that they were smiling in the pictures, but their their eyes were not going up. So they were smiling without moving their upper face. When you don't move that, it's a fake smile and it looks very creepy. Especially if you open your eyes. <laughs> it's creepy. Don't do that. So in conclusion, what this is telling me is that they are in their thinking mind and that they are faking a smile, which shows us as people, as humans, that they are not trustworthy because they are thinking about the situation, they're not in their emotional connecting brain, and they're faking a, a, a signal that's supposed to be friendly, and it gives uncanny, and uncanny means that something seems like it would be okay, but it is, it is not, and that makes us feel like we're in danger, because we probably are.